sad. Time to take down my pumpkin. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday, but today we are going to do a little untraditional approach. Put a little Tattoo Talk Tuesday on the hold, but definitely, definitely check out the playlist. There are over 65 videos, so potentially there's one you haven't seen if you want that little taste of Tattoo I'll leave a link for that playlist down below. But today I wanted to explore a question that I get asked pretty often and although it is not really tattoo related, it is body modification related and it's what are those holes in your ears? I get this question a lot, definitely when I bring the camera a lot more closer to my face. I get a lot of questions about the holes in my ears, probably should have worn my hair up for this video, but I have them on. Can we see? I have them on both sides here. I guess I have to angle this one perfectly right. Why? Here we go. Anyway, we'll just focus on this one. So I do have holes in my ears and it is not a medical condition that I am experiencing. I've seen a lot of people try to defend them and thank you. So I thought I would make this video just to kind of put it out there, talk about my experience and why I have it and why I still have it, even though I have chosen to receive earlobe reconstruction and take out my piercings. I would say in probably 2011, I went and I had my conches that much of the skin removed. Now, a lot of people call it a conch punch, and people still do refer to my conches as my conch punches. This is very different than a traditional conch piercing this is done by a circle scalpel and then that circle scalpel is pressed through the cartilage of the ear and then that piece of the cartilage is removed it can't grow back it because it's not there anymore it's gone it's on a it, it's in the trash somewhere obviously eaten by birds it was many years ago so that piece of my ear is removed is not coming back. So for years I wore jewelry in my conches. Um, I had them done one at a time. Um, I was actually dating someone at the time who had theirs done too. So we bought two, split them, and then bought two more, split them. I really liked having them done one at a time because then I was able to sleep on the other side of my face while I was healing. I would say the healing took about six months, and in that time, my ears were very, 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 very sensitive. If I was even bumped, something, it, it might start bleeding in the first couple weeks, a lot of pain, feeling very hot all of the time. I remember so vividly, we were in a Chipotle, you know, waiting in that line, and some guy bumped me, and my ear just like started bleeding. And I just like, wanted my burrito but he was like are you okay and I'm like hungry it's cool I can't tell you if the procedure if you're looking to get it is legal in your state I can tell you it's not legal in mine um, so I had it done by a body modification specialist so if you do pursue to get it, definitely do your research. I can't recommend the artist who did it for me. Do your research though if you're into it. You know, six months later, I had the other side done and this one never quite healed as well as um, my other one. Can we see? But they were both done at the same size. They were both done at A2 gauge. So they were done with the um, dermal punch and then, um, a piece of jewelry at a two gauge was inserted in there. I healed with glass. I like healing with glass, so that's what I did. I probably kept jewelry in there for about two years, and then I retired the piercing to what it is now. Um, and as you can see, it's honestly a, an open hole. So I decided to retire them just because they were being bumped and falling out a lot. As they became more healed, um, they were probably a little more open 
than they are now. This is them like resting, but at a two gauge, they were like completely open all the time. And because they were done with the, um, the scalpel, I'm sure that they were not precisely at a two gauge. So the jewelry did fit a little loose in the piercing, but because the next size from a two is a zero, it was a really large jump. Obviously I could get custom um, one gauge jewelry. There is a ton of things I could have done. I could have had conch pins that were designed for my conch, a thousand options. But the option I chose was just to retire the piercings. I would fall asleep at night, the jewelry would get knocked out, and when I woke up in the morning, I would experience a lot of tightness when I would put it back in. And that, that tightness, that discomfort, just seemed present all the time, taking one year to heal, um, two years to finally feel okay, and then by the time the jewelry was being knocked out and forced back in every morning, I was just like very over it. In that time though, I had also retired my other piercings, so as it became more of an inconvenience to me, it just became more obvious to me that it wasn't something I wanted anymore. I have talked to body modification specialists about having them closed. Now, it's always been a conversation I've had in jest, not something really dead serious. Like Sampa von Cyborg, he did my earlobe reconstruction. I have many videos on that if you're interested in them. I'll leave those linked down below. When I had my earlobes reconstructed, I also asked Sampa about my philtrum scar and my ears. He told me that he could make it so skin would grow over that hole, but that the hole would still exist because cartilage cannot grow back. It cannot be replaced. So I thought, you know, that sounds really nice. That could be great. But at the end, that's all cosmetic. And I felt like a little bit of skin just growing over that hole. I just couldn't imagine what I would have to go through in order for that to happen. And although my earlobe reconstruction was very painless, Sampa made it a very enjoyable experience for what it was. I was genuinely worried about what I would have to go through to have my conches grow back. It seemed like a lab experiment. I was like, oh, so the skin will grow over the hole? Beyond that initial consultation with Sampa, I have not reached out to any other body modification specialists or plastic surgeons about having my cartilage reconstructed. I don't know. Other than that, it's not really something that totally bothers me. I think it still gives me clout in the body modification community that I felt a lot of strong ties to and that I identified with then and still currently. Like my Filtrum scar, I feel like although I am not wearing piercings anymore, you can still visually see that I have either experimented or existed with body modifications before and that I am willing to adorn my body with such. Also, since I am a shampoo girl, I often get shampooed and the water just falls right out of my ear. I know that when I had my earlobes reconstructed, John might remember this, we went outside and I felt the wind for the first time feel resistance against my ears because they weren't wide open. And I remember that being a very strange sensation, but I do also feel the wind go through the conch holes. Um, I probably could still put jewelry in there, but I would. I don't know, I kind of toy around with the idea that it has affected my hearing just because that part of your ear cups the sound and traps that sound, I feel like, and it goes into your ear so you can hear it. So sometimes I'm like, huh? Um, I could have just made that up, but I do feel like I can't hear. Ever. I'm like, what? But I don't know. Uh, I've been to a lot of shows and I'm old now, so that could also be it too. Completely unrelated. but. I don't know. There is no cure for conch punches that I know of, and I don't know how interested I am in getting it done. Um, I think I'm more likely to start wearing jewelry again than consider getting my earlobes re-
reconstructed further than that. I get a lot of questions like why would you bother to get your earlobes reconstructed when you still have this massive hole in your conch and I can't answer every question that people ask me. <laughs> I don't really know. There's no saying because it's there. There's nothing I can really do about it. I've seen people put like um, a lot of uh, hoops through here connected through the hole and I think that always looks cool too. I think maybe if I um, decide to ever get my ears repierced, that might be cool to have all that adornment up there. But as of right now, I probably won't wear jewelry. Sometimes I wear my septum ring in. Um, that's a whole other story. But um, yeah, I mean, I can like push it. It doesn't hurt anymore at all. It's open all the time. Another thing I kind of experience with the jewelry TMI is that no matter how healed, that piercing is it's always going to have that funk and because my preference was get glass jewelry if you have any mods you know what glass does it stink and um i was cleaning them out daily and at the time that i took them out i was just beginning to see my boyfriend and because i felt like I already had like all these mods, I was weird, my hair was red. I felt like I just had all these things he had to get used to. And then sometimes my ears were funky too. I was like, how am I gonna be intimate with this man who thinks I'm a freak and doesn't get it because he doesn't have piercings too. I know wood is always a great option if you're not into it, but um, because my conches were only like two and a half years old, three years old. I didn't want to put wood in there right away because I did feel like the piercing was still healing. Um, if you've ever had an industrial bar, um, they tell you that that takes up to two years to heal. It's really true. Your conch is going to take forever to heal. And it felt like the day mine healed completely finally was the day I decided I didn't want it anymore. That's the story of why I have these holes in my ears. Um, I think the only thing I didn't discuss was how much it cost, and I think it cost $100 um, without jewelry. Let me know if you have any other questions about freaky things on me. Um, I think a lot of people ask about the holes in my ears, so I just wanted to make some clarification and maybe express that it's fine, it's cool, it's whatever. Nothing I can do. Let me know if you have holes in your ears. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for asking. This was not Tattoo Talk Tuesday, but if you really want that little Tattoo Talk Tuesday flavor, check out the playlist, hit random, enjoy. I love you guys. Until next time, bye.